So more and more I see what happens is uh, almost like a multimodal interviews. So there's the, there is the in-person interview, you come in and meet one or multiple people, um, and then you, know, you have a, a conversation, maybe they ask you questions, etc. And there's the written test, right? Or on a computer, they give you technical questions, you come in and answer them, like a little exam. Mm -hmm. There's also the online slash video um, interview, which would be, there, these are uh, preset questions. Let's say there are maybe five questions. And they could be all over the place. It could be a brain teaser question. It could be a, a couple of technical questions related to your field. And there, there are a couple of personality test questions, right? Asking about your values and what's important to you and things like that. And what you need to do, you can't just type the answer. You have to record you answering the question. And um, it's a video recording. So you use it on your phone or on a laptop with a webcam. And you can do it anytime, anywhere, right? So in your, in your free time, you can record it and submit it onto a website. Um, but it's, the, the type that I saw is actually a timed recording. So you are flashed a question, you have maybe like two minutes, maybe a little bit longer for you to think, and then you have the answer. So it tests you, obviously, how you perform under pressure, right? But also tests your communication skills and it tests how, how well you can handle yourself in an uncomfortable situation. In this case, you're not talking to a human, you're talking to a machine, and a lot of people get extra nervous because they feel that they're being observed, right, behind the machine, behind the lens, and, and this could be repeatedly viewed by people, and they just get stage fright, almost. So it's testing all of those things, and I've seen otherwise perfectly good candidates kind of just you know, they just collapse under pressure and they start to, you know, their thoughts and their answers all over the place, right? But I've met them in person and they were fine. Um, so it's, it's, a, it's a new format that I observed and, uh, and, and also things like the brain teaser IQ question may be completely unreasonable. There may not be even a right answer, but they are trying to see how you say I don't know when you don't know. Um, so you really, you can observe a lot of things in an in a interview like this, right? How do you graciously admit that, I don't know the answer, but here's the best I can do. And then just lay out your calculation or your logical deduction, right? To the best of your abilities. And, uh, and I also saw some, some candidates just could not handle it. They just, they just, you know, they just freak out because they just didn't know the answer and they felt like I completely bombed the interview, what do I do, right? Um, but you know, knowing that there are challenges in life, you don't have the answers. Even at work, there will be situations where you have to tell your boss, I don't know the answer, but let me do the research and get back to you, right? That's perfectly acceptable. You are not a superhuman computer. Nobody expects you to know everything. Um, so it's, but again, it's seeing how mature you are, how well you can carry yourself when you are put on the spot, when you don't have the answer, um, whether you crack under pressure, you know, all of those things.